friends, it's Miss Kelly. I miss you all so much. I'm going to be teaching you a dinosaur math game. I brought along with me my son Carson, who's 11. Hi. Hope to, I have a question for you. Do you like dinosaurs? <gasps> We do. We have over a hundred dinosaurs in our house. They're not real, just pretend. But I wanted to play a little game with you guys. All right, so we're gonna do a math scavenger hunt. Now what I did was I wrote numbers on a piece of paper and I wrote them with the number one. You can look at um, the letters that spell one, or if you don't know either of those, I drew a little dot. So you can count the one. So if you don't have any dinosaurs to do this game, you can find any other tool around your house. All right, here we go, let's go to number one. My dinosaur found number one. All right, Carson, can you put down one dinosaur? One. All right. Now let's find number two. And our dinosaur goes to number two. All right, so how many dinosaurs go there? Let's see, one, two. One, one, two. All right, now on to number three. Who sees the number three? <gasps> I think I see it. Turn my dinosaur over. All right, here he goes. All right, he made it to number three. All right, you see the, the number three? The letters for three and the numbers. We're gonna put down three dinosaurs. Two. All right, now let's go to number four. Where's the four? All right. All right, let's go T-Rex. Oh, he's angry. All right, Carson, can you put down four dinosaurs? We're gonna go find number five. It could be anywhere. <gasps> There's number five. Can you count the dots? One, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go, noisy dinosaur. I think he's hungry. He might be hungry, Carson. All right, we're gonna lay down how many dinosaurs. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five dinosaurs. Good job, Carson. All right, my friends, you can do this one through five. You can do one through 10 or one through 20. Um, I hope you guys had fun with our learning math game. All right. See you next time. Bye.